Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this Angular video tutorial, we will learn a very important topic in Angular which is lazy loading. So, uh, if you attempt the four or five interviews in Angular, then there is a very good chance that interview will ask a question about the lazy loading, like what is lazy loading, then how we can achieve it and what is the difference between normal loading and the lazy loading and uh, much more questions and we will uh, learn every questions, interview questions and the every uh, deep concept about the lazy loading in this video right uh, one more thing we will just make this video from the very scratch I am not going to just tell you that you have to watch my previous video for this and this routing and all we will make it from the very scratch right yeah so uh, these are the points of the video first of all we will make a module then we will make the two components inside it and we will use load this module in a lazy loading way right then we will make the routing for these two components and we will also make the, make the anchor tags for uh, routing. And when we will just uh, get this example with the one module, then I will make uh, one more module so that you can just uh, relate that if we have the more than one route, then how we can handle the lazy loading and all, right? So first thing is that why we need the lazy loading. So what actually happen when we are just using the normal loading or we define the all routes in the app.routing.module file. So when we just load our website at the first time, all routes will actually automatically load at the first attempts, right? So now let's say we have a very big project and uh, we have the right, like uh, 200 or 300 route. So for a first uh, uh, load, our website will be gonna uh, very slow, right? So this will, uh, give a very bad impact to the uh, visitor or the viewers so that what actually lazy load will do so let's say we have the thousands of route and uh, only one route it will load at the time when the page is loaded and the another routes are loaded when they are code so let's say uh, user just want to go on the admin panel then it will click on the admin link and then the admin route will be load right and I will show you that uh, this is really worked, right? So I will show you, uh, I will just make some console and all and I will show you that when we just load the normal website, normal load, then our lazy loading module are not loaded here, but when we click on the link, then the inner module or inner components are loaded here, right? So now let's start it with the, so let's just close the command line and open it again. Let's write here ng g4 generate m4 module and uh, module name so let's say my module name is admin and i also need a routing file here so just write here minus minus routing right and just hit the enter now you can see that we got the two file one is admin dot module dot ts and another one is admin hyphen routing dot module dot ts file so uh, with this file i also need two components right so i'm just going to make two components like ng g4 generate c4 component and my component name is let's say login but this login component should be the part of admin module that's why i will just write here admin slash uh, login and just hit the enter a similar way let's create one more uh, admin list component like this so now we created the old stuff that we need so now let's just jump for the coding first of all let's open the admin folder and uh, so let's open it so uh, let's just make the routes here so just write here import something from and here will be our component path, right? So just say loading, login, and then import list also. Import something from uh, list and list component. And just simply write here login component as well as list component, right? Now let's make the path for both of them, right? So just put here path path for what for the login we have a login path and uh, for the component which component we want to load on this login path we want to load a login component 
similarly let's make a, another path also let's write here path put here list and the component will be the list component right all right that's great so we made the route for them and now let's uh, load this component lazily right admin.module.ts for that we have to go on the admin.module.ts file right ah sorry my bad just go to the admin do uh, sorry app.routing.module.ts and uh, here we have to just put here route so let's put a path here so path will be uh, you can put any name whatever you want but i will just put here admin why admin because it will be actually relative like uh, when i just want to open the login page then it will be look like like admin and then login right so it will be look great if i just put here xyz or something so this is not look like a meaningful word right that's why i put here admin and on the admin what module i want to load so let's say we have the thousands of module then we want a specific module which is uh, admin module right so just write here load children and it have uh, arrow function actually and just simply write here import and uh, let's put the path of your component that, uh, that you want to put here lazy load admin then uh, admin dot module right and now let's take it in the next line dot then and in the dot then we have a parameter actually so which we have a mode or you can put any name as in parameter so put here mode dot admin module that's uh, great our uh, mode our module will be lazy load with this code one more thing that you have to keep in mind when you just load this uh, mode to the uh, as a lazy load like this then you do not need to import this component anywhere right you don't need to import this component in the app file or any other module if you just uh, load the admin module directly like these modules import something and all then it the lazy load will be not, not going to be work right so keep in mind this module should not be load anywhere else now just make the link so let's go to the here and just put here h1 h2 tag and light right here admin links like and just simply put here ul li a tag and with the a tag just right here router link will be admin then login right and put here login like this similarly let's catch this one and make a link for list also let's put here list and here we just need to out here put here router outlet close it great so just simply write here uh, click on anyone so i don't need this one right now you can see that we got the login component as well as the list component so how they are different from the any other uh, loading like normal loading so in that case what actually happened when we just load our application all routes are, are loaded here but how we do know that now the uh, components or these modules are loading on the requirement or on the click right so for that we can just do a one trick here let's go to the admin.module.ts file and just write here console.warn and just write here admin module loaded right so now when this first time page will load it then you can see that there is a no console and all right so when you click on the login then you can see that this page is loaded and definitely this page is not going to load again when you click on a login and again a list and all right so it will just load a first time when you just working with the normal routing then you will see that this route will be load on our first attempt right 
So that's great that uh, we learned that how we can just make a lazy loading with a one route. So let's say we have the more than one route, then how we can just do it. So for that, let's make a one more module and just simply write here um, ng g for generate m for module. My module name will be kind of user minus minus routing. Hit the enter. We have the two file as we just did with the admin. Similarly, let's uh, put here the component name and their component name will become inside a uh, user module so like they will be like uh, user uh, slash login and user slash list right that's great so now we have to just write the routes for uh, user also right then just uh, uh, let's uh, copy some stuff so that we can just save the time just copy the same stuff because the component is inside the admin and user are the same so route can be also same so just put it use inside the user here and just push like this right so they are just loading here but one more thing we have to do it in the app dot app uh, hyphen routing dot module we also have to define one more path for the user right just put it here simply user and now let's load here user module and just put here dot user module right the last thing we have to do inside the app dot component dot this let's make a copy for uh, user link also and just put here user and user right so now you can see that now we are able to load the uh, let's just go to the from the scratch so now you can see that we got the login and the list for admin and here you can see that this is works and you can just see here user and list also changing a url but the all uh, component have the same content so that you cannot identify that this is a admin list or this is a user list right so let's make a little bit change inside any of one we can change the all of them any stuff but due to the saving the length of the video i'm just going to put uh, only content inside the user module so html pages so let's go to the login and just write here user right and now you can see that on the admin link, link there is a normal login works and list works and on the user links now you can see that the user login works and user list works so that's all about the lazy loading if you still have any kind of confusion ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care